In a few moments, we'll bring you CNN Philippines special presentation, a one-on-one -on -one interview with President Rodrigo Duterte, his first with local media after assuming office six months ago. Before we take you to Malacanang, let's have a brief discussion on what the president has accomplished in his half year. Joining me now is political analyst Dean Domanhit. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Ruth. Sir, so we will be having this discussion with this one-on-one -on -one interview with the president, year-ender, sort of a, an assessment of his accomplishments for yes. the first six months. So what do you think of his administration so far? Of course, we all know that the president came into office with a strong mandate. Mm -hmm. Then he came with this very strong commitment on what he calls suppressing drugs, crime, and re-establishing law and order. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have seen this past six months, his commitment, his desire, and his focus on this issue. Mm -hmm. But of course, more than that, there's a the challenge of addressing the so-called uh, socio-economic growth of our country. Can he make it more inclusive, which is where the previous government seemed to have failed? The idea of catching up on infrastructure these are things that uh, people expected a lot from the president, especially people from the Mega Manila, the Metro Manila area and the nearby region. And of course, we heard noise about possible changes in our constitution. Mm -hmm. I believe when you look at all these four issues, this is what the six months of the president was as we go into the next year. With these issues that you mentioned, you think he's, he may be focusing too much on you know, the war on drugs? Do you that is see, his yeah. priority. Mm -hmm. I think his argument, uh, if I remember it right, was if he can suppress crime and drugs, mm -hmm. he can establish law and order, then we will have a better environment for investments, mm -hmm. for the economy to recover. Mm -hmm. But of course, people would say it's too much. Uh, everything that he says focuses on this. Every action that he do focuses on this. So you just hope that uh, the president continues his uh, commitment to address this issue, but also look at the other aspects of governance. And in this case, really, the challenge of as we enter 2017, he is now six months into office. He has a new budget, 2017 yes. budget, and with this, enough resources to execute what he plans to do with regards to addressing basic issues of poverty, joblessness in our country. Okay, we'll get back to uh, Sir Dindo. And right now, we are going straight to Malacanang, where our senior anchor and correspondent, Pinky Webb, is standing by for a sit-down interview with President Rodrigo Duterte. Good afternoon from Malacanang, and good afternoon to you. Mr. President. Good afternoon. Uh, the pleasure of your company. Thank you, sir. You know, um, I know this is your first um, sit-down live interview since you assumed the post on June 30th. Yes, it means to say that uh, you have the priority. <laughs> we do, sir. Even uh, in the number of hours. <laughs> we have, um, we, we thank you for this opportunity. Mr. President, it's been six months. Kamusta na po kayo? How has the presidency been treating you? Well, uh, let me put it this way. If you're asking me if I am happy with the presidency, I'll give you this answer. I don't need it at this time of my life. I'm sorry to say it, but uh, I will work and work and work. But kung, ano, maybe it's because of uh, AIDS or uh, the grueling uh, trips that you have to make uh, day to day, uh, it would depend on what develops or what evolves around the country. And so I get to travel a lot. And about the only time, and the purpose of going around ASEAN countries is because we're hosting the summit next year. And you have to get the feel of what you'd like to uh, present to the ASEAN. So you have to get into the Yung dip dip ng tao. So, what do you want us to uh, uh, to present or make a representation of what uh, particular matter that are subject closest to your heart? And I had that, that's why I had to travel, but uh, I hate traveling. Uh, you might as well know that. I hate to travel, but I had to 
water because it's my duty. Uh, being the host uh, country, probably around towards the end of November of next year, God willing, hopefully. So, um, can I clarify that? Are you unhappy being president? Ganon ho ba yon? No, uh, if it means I'm extra happy, yung a president say isa ka lang eh. But uh, yung sabihin ng mga tao that I am eagerly happy. I said, I don't need it at this time of my life. But since I ran for the position and I won, so I have to honor the contract. I Pero yung masabihin na gusto akong pal I'm trying to communicate with the guys na gusto akong palisin, gusto aust. You know, kaya sabi ko, kung talagang tatanungin mo kung atat na atat ba ako dito, do not mess up with me because I mean, I don't know. You're ready to let it go. You've always said no, that at but, any time. No, uh, but yung sabihin mo ito, aust, aust. Uh -uh. Well, uh, probably I'll give you a good fight. <laughs> you know, uh, you, you'll get the bloody nose. Sigurado yan. You know, I, I wanted to, that was obviously part of my questions a little later on, but since you brought it up, sir, um, these allegations supposed to be of ousting the president, how seriously do you take them? Very recently, Meron supposed to be, Mr. President, this blueprint from the former ambassador. Are, are, are these something, number one, you believe well, in? How seriously uh, do you take them? In the matter of uh, the cred credible news, Kind of, uh, uh, maybe uh, you may have some, uh, an inkling of how this guy operates. Because most of the ambassadors of the United States, but not all, are not really professional ambassadors. Human career, at the same time, they do spying. They are really connected with the CIA. Ganun yan eh. The ambassador of a country is the number one spy. But there are ambassadors of the United States, yung forte nila, is really to, to undermine governance. And that's what happened with Bolger, uh, Bolger and Goldberg. Bolivia. Oh, yeah. He was expelled because he was undermining the native president there. And they say that uh, it's, a good, it's a good article, Time magazine, I think, and it's a, it has a good analysis of uh, how the elite of that country hates the uh, native president. And uh, Goldberg started to uh, dig under, to erode the foundation of the presidency, and he was expelled a persona non grata. Ako naman, this is my message to the United States and to everybody, to those out there on the streets and for those who are demanding my resignation. You know, uh, I, 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 feel that I have to honor the contract with the people. Pero kung sabihin mo na tatakutin mo ako or that you'd be happy to see me out, I view life as a matter of destiny, all of what happens here in this universe. So with uh, little money and no machinery at all, I want the presidency. So to me, it's, uh, there has uh, to be something in there. So when I asked somebody, he said, maybe there's uh, a message from you, from God, or from you to whatever uh, gusto mo i communicate. From you to whom? So I go, well, uh, I go, because I'm sure that God and Jesus na ilagay ako dito. So it's destiny. So if I get to survive six months and one day, that's part of my destiny. That is your presidency in this planet. If I am still around next year to host the ASEAN, that's my destiny. So, sabi ko, okay, kung anong ibigay ng Panginoong Diyos, akin natanggapin ko yan. Pero kung sabihin mo ako, you, 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 you mess, uh, you, you mess uh, up with me. Uh, I, wala naman ako sabi, but uh, I could give you a bloody nose, really. So, may I get a, an answer on this, sir? Do you take these threats seriously? The threats to oust you? In the sense that uh, I may be looking at it as a possibility, yes. But kung sabihin mo, fear of being ousted. And that would be, I said, uh, well, this is uh, how long God gave me in this presidency. 
But in return, sabi ko, you should also be prepared. So I said, uh, I, I'll give you the time of the day. And uh, well, uh, I, I, I can do it if I want to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what you can in America, uh, yung gusto nila akong palisin and some other servants because of the elite and uh, anong ano dito yung well I, I, I said uh, I do not really give it an S about what, what you want me to be mm -hmm. basta ako may trabaho and I know that uh, ano ako I'm part of the establishment or I was or I am I've been mayor for 23 years in Davao, so I get some come in from the cold, coming in from the cold. Ako. But uh, I'm part of that uh, Republic of the Philippines. So, hindi ma ang, ang, ang tao sa akin, except for those who believed in me, uh, is uh, yung those who heard my message. And that's the only thing that you can really attribute to my victory. It was the message that I was hearing. And it was corruption in government, drugs, which is really a virulent thing now. And uh, it's just too bad that I cannot uh, show to the people and all of you uh, the, the chart of how things are going. But uh, most of the big time uh, are really still uh, very big. And uh, always uh, maybe undermining also government o talagang I, we have not shown enough to, to them pero nakita mo naman sa sa San Juan is Santo Nilada and that would give you an idea the activity of the drug uh, system in this country you, you, well that is your campaign promise Mr. President yes. sabi niyo po nung kampanya 3 to 6 months in mm. September mm. 3 months after you assumed the post sabi mo I need a little extension because you didn't because, know how because grave the problem was I was just me dealing with a problem of a small town city in my town in my city wala masyadong drugs I mean Davao is uh, comfortable where well, uh, it is now uh nakakalakad yung mga tao na gusto nila at uh, uh, wala masyadong krimen kasi walang mga tao na nasa droga. So it's a bit peaceful. But when I said, uh, well, how naive of me, Raga? Kasi yung sinasabi ko, I'll finish it in six months. I was looking at the Philippines Ang akala ko ganun lang. Davao. Siya bu dito, siya bu doon kunti. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know that when I became the president, I started to squeeze everybody. So you saw the hundreds of thousands of Filipinos. Uh, not counting the original figure given by General Santiago Pedea before, uh, pegging it at 3 million. Itong again, I have it. As I have said, by the end of the year, I would have hit a million. So you add, you add another to Santiago's original uh, number. You add, you, you add mine, which is about one million. So there are four million. Mm -hmm. It is no joke. It is not just a problem you can ignore uh, or give uh, uh, just about uh, five, ten minutes attention every day. Yeah. You have to worry about uh, the... The repercussions. <clears throat> Drugs, you know, that's why I kill you. Why? Because you enslave the people. With four million, they are really slaves to you by way of a chemical, an agent. Parang alipin mo siya sa drug, ahente ikaw. Tapos dysfunctional family. Ruined lives, hiwalay ganun. Then crime. And then you just say how many? 5,000? 10,000 people killed. You're not even sure if it's really a police encounter or not. You don't even bother to. And that's what happened here because America seems to have adopted the theory of the yellow. 
Kasi yung yelo, yun na yung ang campaign na uh, it was not an issue against me. By the way, it became an issue when under the last moment, the last four days, lumabas na yung figure about Central Bank na 4.5. Kaya ako galit sa Central Bank. Kung meron akong pera, ba't hindi sa, sa bagay? You have to get somebody, somebody else's uh, permission. Pero uh, alam ko na rin ngayon. At, ay, ay, pero sabi ko, ikaw alam ninyo. Nandiyan yan, money laundering. Ikaw may 211 million ko. Kung walang nagtanong, binigyan na sana ninyo sa kanila para ang totoo. I was just hoping that you'd be truthful to, to your work. Okay. Mr. Sure. President, I'd like to go back to what I was saying. Um, still on the war on drugs, sabi niyo po in September, you need an extension. Fair. Yes. Um, because you said you didn't know yung grabe pala yung sitwasyon mm. ng droga sa Pilipinas. Um, that should end sometime in March. Um, do you feel that by March, number one, sir, um, you will solve the drug problem? No. What is your assessment by Ito March? Na ganito ngayon, and, uh, you better listen very carefully. This is what's happening to the country. We are facing a terrorism, terrorism uh, threat. It will be a compounded issue if itong mga mautin that's rampaging now in Lanao well, of course, young MI, uh, MN are ready to talk to us. But these are the terrorists, I said. It's being driven by drugs. They, 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 they want money for uh, their uh, uh, uprising to sustain it. And they're parling drugs. So we have a terrorism which is being fed with drugs in Mindanao and in the Visayas. Ang problema nito, pati dito sa Luzon nga. So we're trying to figure out, uh, uh, I, 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 uh, that's why I was late. I was being briefed by the military and the police. Pakalawak talaga, and uh, it's a uh, problem is, uh, it's connected with an international operation. It's everywhere. But, but how would you assess your um, success on your war on drugs as, as of now, sir? I can only relate it with the crime dip. Less crime now, less rape, hold up, sabos, sasakyan, naglalakad ka. So that would give you actually a visual thing of the result of the drug war on the street level. So does that mean you're satisfied? No. Until the last pusher is out of the street, and I'll be very frank with you, Anthony country, until the last drug lord is killed, this campaign will continue to the very last day of my term. Mr. President, the PNP came out with data. 6,000 have been killed so far in six months, 2,100 um, killed in police operations, 4,000, sir, mm -hmm. vigilante style summary executions. Sir, dun sa 4,000, would that be a cause for concern para po sa inyo? No. I'm not concerned at all. It's either you really do something about the problem or not. The only way to do it is to deal with reality. Alam mo sabi nila, bakit nung hindi pa panahon ni Duterte, wala naman masyadong patayan. Eh kasi noon ho, Sinabi ko, lahat ng mga big time, mga mayor, nasa druga with the, their bodyguards provided by the military and the police and everybody was into it. So, walang masyadong resulta ang police ng legitimate operations because they were shying away from it. Because it, it, it more or less, dito sa Pilipinas, pag kinalaban mo ang mayor, tatawag yan ang malakan yan. Sabi na Presidente, I'm not attributing it to uh, uh, anybody in particular. Magtawag lang yan ganun dito. O, oh, tatawag, bakit mo ginilaw siya? Ano, ay nagre-reklamo. I-leader ko yan eh. Ang saving grace ko, Pinkies, wala akong utang ng loob ni kanino except for about three or four persons. Sino po yan? Ay me. And because I promised to, 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 to bury Marcos during the campaign period in the debates, 
I was asked point blank up lima kami. Sino? Ako lang si Bina, yung tatlo, no. That was my campaign promise. Nasabi ko, itong drugs, masama to. Patayan tayo dito. It's going to be a bloody. In my speech, I said, come and join me because it will be a rocky road ahead. What does that tell you? Maybe it's an idiom or... Pero to a plain Filipino, alam mo yung rocky road. Muna sa kampanya nagsinabi ko, patayan ito because alam ko ang problema. Sir, balikan ko po yung sinabi niyong meron kayong tatlo o apat na may utang na loob. Sabi niyo po, uh -huh. okay, you mentioned one, Governor Imi. Sino pa po yung dalawar tatlo? Abed. And of course, si, di, dan tatlo si, si Governor Subiri. And yung nag-open talaga. Yung, open, yung iba, maraming pero yung tapos yung Nakalimutan ko yung isa. <laughs> Sige, sir. Mamaya, balikan po natin. <laughs> Governor siya, but I forgot the province na kung... Baka po maalala ni Bong. Uh, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the province starts with... Uh, the name of the province starts with A. Okay. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Sabi po ni Ina. <laughs> ano? Well, maybe babalikan po natin. Meron, I just wanted to ask this important question, Mr. President. Po sa war on drugs, what do you say to those who... They lost, they lost the, the lives of their family members, their kin, their relatives, and they claim that they, they are innocent. What do you say to, to those people? Well, it's a claim. I can claim also that you know, if you can give me a, a lie, I could make it ten times better. No? Sa akin. Alam ko kasi lumalaban talaga yan. Kasi karamihan ng nasayang sisters. They are committing crimes. They are ready to fight it out. But it because constant use of shabu, even for one year, would shrink the brain. Pagka shrunk na ang brain, do not expect a normal behavior. But are you saying that no innocent life was lost no, due to this war no, 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 on no. drugs? I'd be lying. Marami ang ino pa. Tinamaan sa crossfire lang, pati mga bata eh. Collateral but, yeah, well, of course, uh, part of the criminal law natin is that if there's a fight between the security forces or the peace officers, tablaka. I mean, government is liable, maybe civilly, but criminal. Wala. But what do you say to them? Is there anything you want to say to them? <laughs> Gusto ninyong, ito. Gusto ninyong hinto ang patayan sa Pilipinas. Foreigners and uh, mga natives, hinto ka ng droga. You, you stop this, uh, and uh, everything will be okay. One we of, can't concentrate on uh, other things uh, of governance. Mr. President, one of your uh, staunch critics would be uh, Senator Laila Dilima. Um, what is the end goal? What, um, is the senator someone you want to see behind bars? A <laughs> problem, And I do not want to add to, the, to her words of the day. May maisip pa siya na ano, ilang nag... Basta sa kami, tabi ko noon, na may, may malaking problema ka. Eh, yun lang. Kasi pareho, pareho kami prosecutor eh. Eh, ako talaga, nagpisa ako doon sa baba, may trial prosecutor for 10 years. Alam ko ang laro, pati yung lumalaban, pag hinuli mo kasi ang governor mayor noon, lalaban yan, magkagira kayo. Ang polis takot. Dito sa akin, walang politiko magsabi sa akin dito na bubulisitin kita. Gobernur ka magsabi ka sa akin, Mayor, itong bata ko, no? Gusto mo sipain kita niya, puntahan kita. Kaya it was uh, maybe, I said, God's uh, way of doing it. Wala akong nakuha. Wala nga akong barangay captain isa dito sa Manila. O baski sa yung kapitbahay mo. <laughs> yung neighborhood, ah, totoo. Yes, I know, sir. You, no, you were saying nga. that. No one really supported so, you during akong, the campaign. Walang, walang, walang governor or military could have the goal to say, sabihin ko sa kanan, ina mo, wala akong utang na loob sa'yo at wag mo, hindi ako ganun. So, sir, what, um, yung sagot niyo po doon kay Senator Laila Dilima, would you care to answer that? Ano ho yung end goal? San ho kaya ito pupunta? And is, do you want to see her behind bars? You know, 
fears the denial. I, I, it, it, leave, it leaves a bad taste in the mouth to be uttering on him. Ito yan siya. Ilang testigo siya. Not even one. Nagsabi na hindi totoo yan. It started, uh, well, nagkalat na. So, tapos nangyari, saan ka makakita ng munting lupa na parang hindi, hindi na ano, matakot ma, ma, makulong yan. May nightclub, may babae, may inom, mahilig rin ako mag tikangkang ng mga baril-baril dyan. O di happy na ako. Ano, pwede ka magbili ng mga libro. I only need a lampshade and, and a book and I'm through for the night. Daytime, I sleep. So, walang problema. Kung ganun lang naman ang presuhan. So, what gives? So, siya ngayon ang sabi ko. Kung ganun ang nangyari, sa noon pa, and I had an occasion to, sabi ko, Senator, may problema kayo, you better. And that was about eight months when I testified, no, eight months after, when I testified in the Senate, remember? About the rice smuggling. It, uh, I was pictured to be a ruffian because of my mouth. Uh, ganon talaga ako. So take it or leave it ako dyan. Kasi sa kampanya, talagang halos isang katirbang mura, ang, lalo na kung if you are in a impassioned uh, mm. speech. Pero at least ginawa ko. Okay. Walang corruption. Corruption na upakan talaga kita. And even my two fraternity brothers in upakan ko. Yes, sir. Okay. Drugs, even if I... Ang tawag niyan eh, it's not... Uh, it's a miscalculation. Yeah. I am guilty of that. Because I never realized how, how, how it was or how it is until I naupo ako dito. Then I told you I reduced criminality. Then sabi ko, we'll just have to do for uh, our uh, economy. And uh, I've been to China, I've been to... Uh, and mind you, uh, to all and sundry, uh, ano po, uh, we never discuss, in fairness to China, and uh, we never discuss military alliances. So all uh, about drugs, how they can help me. And how to improve the economy. Business opportunities. Wala, yan lang. And then because of these things, sabi ko nga, Pingy, what an irony in life. Druga, you are flooding my country. And you are killing the next generation. You will be depriving this country of the next generation. Kaya ang Amerika... Known because Panama was the source of all drugs in the United States, not only killed soldiers and people there, they invaded the country, uprooted the president, Sinoriega, Shanghai him to the United States to face trial and place behind bars in the country, not his. Yan lang sana ang gusto kong sabihin sa Amerika. And sir, you're getting, you know, some criticism on your war on drugs. You have, you know, various organizations already um, criticizing you on this. The latest would be this, sir. Kasi mahaba pong usapan yan. The United Nations Commissioner for Human Rights wants you investigated on your admission of killings. Let me just name um, a few of what you said, sir. Sabi niyo po in Davao, I used to do it personally. Just to show the guys I can do it, yes. why can't you? Sinabi niyo po sa BBC, I killed about three of them. I don't know how many bullets actually went uh. inside their bodies. Sinabi niyo din po very recently that I tossed a kidnapper of a helicopter. Uh, that was the Tulpo's theory. Kay Tulpo yan eh. Hindi naman akin yan. <laughs> Pero, Yung dalawa, totoo yan. Now, for the information of itong mga Amerikano, and the bleeding hearts, it was really an encounter. I relate to them exactly. Ang problema, ang nagpipick up, pag anahal ko kung bakit, even your, bakit din yung ikot? I said, it was an encounter. They kidnapped a Chinese girl in the downtown mismo noon sa Davao. And that, those were the trouble days. Nung mayor ako, sabi ko, stop it. Okay? So, nag-kidnap sila. Tapos, uh, two months after, they sent feelers to return the hostage 
in consideration for 2 million. On that day, dumaan sila doon sa, where I was positioned. Nung dumaan na sila, umakyat sila sa bahay, pinaluto pa nila yung doktora na yung bata. Yung boy. Doktora na yun. May asawa na. Kumain sila doon, but may mga polis ako sa loob ng sabihin mo lang sa akin kung magbaba na para maka-prepare. But we were not expecting na magdaan uli, magbalik. Okay. Hindi ginagawa ng military o pati ano yan eh. Pero ito naman mga, I think one of them was a soldier. Dumaan, tapos bumalik. So pagbalik, <laughs> na, you know, pagdabas ng pinara namin, tapos the moment nakita namin yung carbin, M2, barilyan, gawa ng Amerikano, World War II vintage. Nung lumabas yung bintana, kasi y- 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 kailangan mo y- surrender, di, para you, know, you have to arrest. Lumaban. Pag lumabas nung ano, putok ka na. Bakit hihintay pa ba ako? Ang Amerikano kasi when I killed, akala rin yung mga ulol. Well, how stupid can you get? I, I, I'm a lawyer and a mayor. Would you think that, that I would admit na, that I murdered somebody sitting down with their hands tied at their back? Talagang inkwento, it was known in Dava. And that's why I said I, I got my 23 years because I returned peace to Dava. Sabi ko, sino gustong sumunod? So, so sir, yung, yung sinabi pong uh, mula sa helicopter na kidnapper na... Itul po yun. Is that true or is that Itul not po, true? No? Wala namang helicopter ng ambulansya. So, ano po? Hindi ginagamit yan. <laughs> okay. The question is, sir, um, because of what you said, um, sabi nga po ng United Nations Commissioner on Human Rights, you must, you should be investigated. You are joking. You are joking. You cannot investigate itong mga nito because this is peace, uh, law and order to. Okay. You can only yung mga religious uh, persecution, yung mga... But come on, guys. Uh, you should know better. I'm sure that you're a lawyer. But if you are not stopped even tinkering about, you don't know what. When I became mayor, I said, do not destroy my city because I will kill you. Do not destroy the young, use Yabu dealers, because you'll deprive us of the next generation. And so, pag ginawa mo yan, my orders talaga is to kill. Now, let me ask uh, the human rights. Why did you not investigate the United States when it invaded Panama on an issue of drugs? Ngayon, Mexico na yan. So they had to go there, kill so many soldiers. In a war, you declared unilateral because of drugs. And then you're a silly guy here from the... Kaya namumura ko itong mga... Well, this, well, this idiot. You're talking about a story which I related. And I told everything. And here you are trying to pin me down but because I killed you. And you, you always use the word the word uh, suspect. They were not suspects. They were criminals uh, who were fighting us. And, and I am a law and order guy. Maybe the reason why is that because I'm a prosecutor. Mr. President, the Commission on Human Rights is saying that they're looking into a team. A team may be looking at your, alleg- at your statement um, and investigate. They will go nowhere because it is true. You, you have to go... Wag ka na mag-tim-tim. Pumunta ka doon because that was event was covered by everybody, including okay. your right, former sir. what? <laughs> sir, doon sila lahat. And you know the guys, you know the team of Dabao, no? Alam mo yung mga, you know, the, the, yung sa, if I have to mention them, yung mga ABS girls ninyo, kilala mo mga lahat. They were there. Because it was really uh, a, 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 public notice na uh, sa police, pati sa media. You know, media gets to be, oh, ito, pata ito, sigurado. And so it was really bang, 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 new year. And everybody was looking, almost uh, all, all of the eyes of the public were do that. But so, Mr. President, meron... Alam mo kasi, may isa pa. Sorry po. <laughs> Nilalaro ko kayo, 
mahilig talaga ako ganoon. Alam ng alam ng team ninyo, mahilig ako magbitaw ng kalukuhan. When I said, for example, na mag, 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 magdasal ako sa... Akala ko magkasabi ko, nagsabi ng Diyos sa akin na... Kreto rin yung mga... Gagastos ng panahon, magsusulat, kritisay, before something. Some, istorya mo lang yan. Wala pala kayo. Sino mo naman... Actually, that's one of the one of the questions we wanted to ask you, and it even came from our netizens. Kailan daw po namin malalaman pag ang sinasabi niyo ito to, at kailan po namin malalaman kung hindi po namin dapat Sa paniwalaan? The way, the way I you look at my eyes, look at my rage. Kung masabi mayor kaya nato pumaputok na kagabi sa late, tapos papunta ako dito. Don pa lang mayo paglabas ko, kasi marami ng Sugatan. Then I have to, I'm supposed to go back to Davao to spend the New Year there. Mm -hmm. I have to make a youth, mag magdidetour na naman ako bukas because I have to visit the guys there. A lot of them are wounded. I don't know how many are serious. But these are the things I said when you are mayor, it gives you a very grueling day. And uh, I've been doing it kasi pinge for the last, well, I was a congressman once. Yeah. It was a very subdued uh, job. But I mean, uh, when I was the vice mayor of my daughter, I was still carrying the day for her. When I was mayor, but look at it that this, uh, tigna mo yung crime rate noon. Tigna mo that before I really was in, inaugurated there. Tigna mo yung crime rate. Tigna mo ngayon. So, ano ang, so what's my purpose? My purpose is really to give order. Kung ayaw ninyo ng law and order, order sa ating society. Okay. I'm gonna have to move on um, yeah. to another subject, sir. Um, ang nag-shout out po kami sa mga uh, nanonood po sa amin sa CNN Philippines, we asked them this question. Mm -hmm. Ano po ang gusto yung tanong yan? If there's one question you can ask the president, what would it be? We'd like to read some of them kasi they took the time out, sir, para um, sabihin po, makarating po ito sa inyo at kami lang naman po yung tulay. Number one, Kate Santos. Ang tanong po niya, when can he sign the maternity bill that's from 60 days to 100 days, I mean, it, it's sir. pending. Uh, I'm just waiting for the papers to... Well, pati yung ano, we're talking about the Indo now. There seems to be Iroquois there because uh, yung undersecretary does not like it. And uh, uh, Secretary Bellio was... Uh, yun, together with yung... Ano, I, I, I agree that you need a longer period of rest uh, sa maternity. Gusto ko nga, isang taon eh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know why? Because ako, hindi ako nagtatanggap sa trabaho. It's, it's a public knowledge. Kapag? Pagkasabi ko, anak. Because I want the baby to be breastfed. May police na assign sa akin. Totoo to ha? But hindi naman niya ako dinadaya. Kasi ako mismo ang nagsabi, taga rito. O taga rito. Kakaanak lang. Sabi ko, bakit ka nandito? So, kasi siya, kailangan mo report Sabi ko, maniwala ka yung commander mo. Bumalik ka sa inyo, and uh, you come here, uh, i-breastfeed mo. Sa traffic, sabi ko, if you cannot make it for the day, just forget it. Report the following day, but go home and uh, stay late sa bahay. At uh, paanuhin mo muna yung bata. Because kailangan niya sa immune system niya. At yung... yung Overall. For the health of the mother and as well. Uh, Mr. President from Jet Tirol, what is the status of the Yolanda Fund scandal? Your plans with those involved such as Pinoy, Rojas, Abad, and what about the SAF 44, sir? In investiga pa nila lo, yung may kalalabas lang yung bago. You know, it does not uh, take you too much uh, of your time if you just uh, ponder on it and close it. But you need to get accountants and everything. But yung sa money laundering, they are still winding up. Marami ang... If you, because if you intend to file a case, sabi ko sa kanila kanina, then get the lawyers of uh, the Justice Department. So I'm or, I ordered the guy, yung parang yung director general ngayon, ng, sabi ko, send about three or four uh, more accountants and lawyers. Kulang eh. To build a case, to get a conviction beyond reasonable doubt. You create a doubt, it goes free. 
batting average, I would say, for a prosecutor to get a conviction, it's about 30. 70 in favor of an acquittal. Why? People just created them. What would it be? Well, something like this. Is this your affidavit? Yes. And was there a lawyer? Yes. Who was the lawyer? Sapaho. Sinabi na, usap ba kayo? Ula, basta sinabi niya, sapaw, binasa niya. Sabi niya, totoo ba ito? Sabi ko, totoo. Ano pa sinabi niya? Wala. Tapos malikod sila. Sinabi ba niya, makukulong ka? Hindi. Your Honor, no, this is uh, fit for the garbage. Can, ganun lang yan. Okay. Mr. President, from Mike Pablo, when will we start having a national ID system? Alam mo, it was, uh, I, if, as far as I can remember, it was President Marcos and then uh, subsequently uh, renewed by their desire to have a national uh, ID. Alam mo, ang the strongest uh, ganing sa mga left, kasi nga, ma-identify sila, ganon ganon But Actually, yung ID sana, system mo. Eh kung pagdating mo sa bangko, kailangan ka ng ID mo. Eh kung pumayag lang kayo, at hindi wala naman akong interest na pagguhulihin kayo. <laughs> Sinabi ko nga, for all, I mean, may I just say it in passing, na lahat kayong mga whatever, wag lang kriminal. wag lang kayo yung hinahanap ng polis in connection with drug. You're a rebel of sorts. In PA, whatever command, you go down, spend time with your family. Yeah. Uh, New Year's Day. No arrest. I told the military and police, walang arresto. Kayong mga, mga sinim na MI, MN, except the Maote because uh, terrorist group yan. You can mix it up and you can even go to the camps. And I, I would urge the camp commanders to invite the rebels for, uh, to break bread with them yeah. uh, New Year's Day. Tawagin na lang ninyo yung mga NPA dyan sa bukid. Sabi mo na doon magkain. Kung hindi magkadating ang pera ko in time, pero ATM man siguro yan, ay, ay mag-grace ako ng kunting ano. All, all, all camps. Kaya I have to go home because I have to work again. To work on this na the camp commanders, lahat sa bukid, kailangan mayaya nila ng... Uh, I said to break bread with them. It could be dinner or lunch. Tapos, uh, sabihin mo lang, go home after this and we'll fight uh, early next year kung walang mangyari. Kung sabihin ni Mayor na uh, walang nangyari dyan sa ating pistok-pistok, then we can go back to war. Mr. President, I have about 15 minutes left. Um, yes. Uh, and dami ko pa kung tanong sa inyo. Let me... Uh, yeah, I'll shorten my answer. <laughs> um, hindi naman po. I just don't want you to think I'm rude, no? But so many things to cover. Yes. Um, visiting Forces Agreement, you're warning the United States yes. that you will repeal or abrogate the VFA. Sir, what is really your stand? Bakit you hindi ko sila ready? paalisin? I gusto nila akong sirain. Sino ang istupidong tao na presidente ang payag ng gano? If you are here, for your own benefit. No need to do maneuvers with the Filipino soldiers. They are good, better than you. It's for your own convenience, facing. Pinapaasar mo lang ang China dyan. If you really want to recover the whole of China, see, go ahead, start it now. Go and send all your ships and battle the ships and all. But, but do you want it abrogated or repealed ASAP? Ganun ba? It's an agreement, actually. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out. Kasi maraming nagagalit sa akin. And even the military. Kayong kayong sa military, pati police, I know that at one time or another in your life, you have had or had had the chance to go to America for training. Yan ang style ng America. And from all countries, you get to... Itong si Bato, I remember when I was mayor, he went to Pantico to be with the FBI. Uh, al alam ko, Pero itong kawalang hiyaan, nandito sila, tapos ganun ni bastosin nila tayo. E kung alam nila, because they, are, they have enough intelligence, alam nila na malawak talaga ang problema ng druga. And you have a president, pati yung mga undersecretary na nagsasalita, you reprimand me. 
Why don't you bring me to the UN? Akala ko ba member tayo? Kasi, you know, I said, and think of the, you went to Iraq. Only flimsy reason of uh, weapons of mass destruction. You got none. But you had to invade the country. And you had to kill Saddam. You go to, went to Libya, you undermined uh, Libya. Bumagsak si Gaddafi. See? O gawin rin sa akin yan. So, well, maybe you'd succeed, but it's gonna be... I'll give you a bloody nose. Are you expecting a yes, better uh, relationship uh, 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 with yeah. President-elect Donald no, Trump? No, that's why I'm waiting for that. Naghihintay nga ako eh. Kasi kung yung tao, mabait naman. Game ba? Ibig sabihin, kung sa bugo yan, game. I even said that, you know, we, we have the same mouth, Mr. President. Yeah, so you know. The only problem is yours in English, mine is in my dialect. But same, yeah, yeah. Uh, plus, these guys that are uh, doing drugs, they will destroy your country. So, parang nasa wait and see kayo ngayon, uh, Mr. Yes. President? Yes, pero ako, alam mo ang Amerika, presidents come and go. Puro yung State Department na yung bastos talaga yan. Kasi, why? Multiracial kasi. Kita mo dito may isang click, dito may isang grupo. Ganun yan sila eh. Kita pumunta ng Libya, eh, Liberia offered assistance. Then asked the Libyan government to craft a law allowing same-sex marriages. <laughs> Tingnan mo style nila. Kaya magpunta yan dito, magsabi, same-sex marriages. Sabi ko, dalhin mo yan doon sa Cardinals. Sa Bishop's Conference, argue your case there. Oh. Um, we need to talk about the South China Sea. Uh, just a question on that, sir. Um, when do you think you will bring up the arbitral ruling with China? During my time. I cannot let it pass. Na baliwala na lang. Kasi dito sabi ko, uh, they, 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 they bench you, yes. But are you ready to talk with me now? Because if you are not, I am not ready. I have only two choices. I won the arbitral, that's the award. Then I will force it. I will recover it through force. I will assert my supremacy there, legal, or go to war. Tama si Pinoy, sabi sabi niya, the only organ or the only agency or government that can really do something about it, gusto mo talaga, is America. You know why? Because while, while they were building yung si Spratly ngayon, Diba mga 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 intelligence uh, data gathering? It was already bruited about in the entire world that something was a fault. A brewing na ng mga. Bakit di pumunta ng China? Hey guys, they're supposed to be an international sea. Nobody owns it. And you, this, just against the law, against putting up structures, you know, because you know, Bakit nila pinuntahan? Nung ngayon pinahinog na nila, gusto na tayo tuloy na mag we go into a cabal. Wala ako problema. If America decides to go to war, I will call my generals. Ano ba ito? I will call the com command conference. Sali tayo? Pag ma sila man ang mamatay. Dito lang man tayo sa likod. Pag sinabi na, sige sir. Oh, they fight now. But, but, I, would, I, would, I plunge this country into war. Kung gusto ninyo yan. But, 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 Mr. President, I understand what you're saying. You bring it up at the proper time. But is there a specific circumstance that will prompt you yes. to bring up the arbitrary? When movement? the minerals are already being siphoned uh, out, question of money. Uh, wait a minute. I thought we were friends. We share economic bounties. And, um, so how about us? I have this title. So, ano tingin mo? Hindi kayo mabuti mag-usap tayo ngayon? Okay. Diba? Yung, yung kayamanan na ang lumalabas dyan, parang inheritance kasi yan. Pag naman tayo natatay, pati na hati, hati, mga kapatid. Na, talagang gulo na yan. Mm. Oh, okay. yan. Um, but, but a U.S. think tank um, recently had a report that 
the um, meron na pong militarization doon po sa mga artificial islands that uh, China has yeah. set up. Is that a cause for concern for the Philippines? No, because co if it was a really a serious uh, concern, then the United States should lead the way and stop it. I said right at the beginning, when the first spade, spade of uh, soil was tossed out to the, uh, to the area being reclaimed, bakit yung think tank nila hindi nag-think? Because it's only a tank. It is hollow. It's a think tank. Hindi naman tank yan na pang -away. That think tank is really useless. Why, why, why raise a concern? Why raise an issue putting the countries uh, into distress or undistress? No, wala ka naman palang gawin. Ikaw yung may armas. Ikaw yung may... Ikaw yung may Tangke, kami dito pin sling siat lang. Oh, boss, ano bang kailangan tayo? Pero kung magsabi ang Pilipino, let's join America. America is going to war. Oh, sabi ko sa mga military, okay, we we are allied. Uh, USRP pack. Ano? Gira tayo? Magsabi nga, sir kaya. Kaya natin mamatay lahat. Talagang patay matay lahat. <laughs> Sige. Okay. Sige. Lusob tayo. I'm going to go back dito po sa Pilipinas domestically kasi meron pong in the past week there have been a number of explosions sir actually am um, Christmas day nagpunta po kayo uh, to, to visit the blast victims doon po sa Midsaya sir any information Yes I'll po? give you the information and people alam ng mga tao doon the priest was talking about extrajudicial killing pumutok yung simbahan niya <laughs> Sabi ko the terror now is driven by I'll explain uh, some other day you, you, you can come back and uh, uh, find another time to ask me about it and I will explain to you in detail and maybe show you some oh, visual things so that you'll understand. Ang, itong Moro is now, itong rebellion, not all Moro. <laughs> itong mga, nandito na sila sa ano. Itong salite, the, 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 what was uh, being fought there is the Turf War. We are really exactly going into a slide just like Colombia. Ayaw lang maniwala kasi nito mga to. Ayaw lang na mabigyan niyo box yung kay Grillo. And Grillo came here to express his concern. The book about the cartel, the one who wrote na yung... Pumunta siya dito sa Malacanang. Hindi na lang ako nag-ingay. Sabi ko, hindi man ninyo, hindi makainteresado. And it seems to me that... Parang lahat dito is always concerned of human rights. Useless. Pero you know, yung mga human rights yun. Yung ngayon suffering in the hospital, pati yung simbahan, I'm talking of, ano, sabi ko nga, ang druga is a very vicious and virulent thing. That is why I adapted a na attitude of no compassion. But, but Mr. President, is there anyone, one group behind the series of explosions recently? Meron na ho ba kayong information on who could be behind? Itong group, it, it's being run still inside. Alam mo ba ninyo, sa mga jails, mga penal colony, penal colonies all over, meron silang negosyon. Pati itong... So, nandiyan pa rin yan. Alam mo, Bingo, ang boss na ilang pinakamalikin na doon na sa lumabas na. Uh, tapos tawag lang, uh, may ano yan sila, mapa na malaki. Where they hit? Diyan sabihin lang niya, uh, yan, may order dito. Eh, tawagan lang yan, cellphone. Eh. Basi sa kubeta ka, oh, order ako na isang tunilada, ah, ah, druga. O oh, sige, kunin mo. Ibagsak namin dyan banda sa ito si map nila. Oh, yan. Di, dito. Parang war room ng Aguinaldo. Na, na, may nakita kami doon sa pagdaman. Hindi ko lang sabihin sa ang military base. Ganun. Okay. Mr. President, moving forward. Um, cabinet, your cabinet, are you happy with your cabinet? Yes. Are there going to be changes in your cabinet? Is there an underperforming no. agency? May, wala, wala. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, we're all working. And uh, we got uh, may kind words from... Uh, uh, si Joy Sosida, he's an economist. He, he wrote something about uh, the, 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 the meager uh, accomplishments. I'm not into this big thing. Wala akong siya, quiet lang ako. Look at, tagnan mo lang ang Pilipinas. 
sabi ko change. I do not have to brag about it. Was it change? Change of what? Oh, change of persons. Kaya sinabi ko, kayong mga drugista, kayong mga drug lords, talagang papatayin mo kayo. Mag-prank ka na ako sa inyo. Ito ang sinasabi kong maliliit. Siyempre, sabi niya na, ito naman yung nagpapaloko. You have to have an, a, a, an IQ of maybe 14, 16. Para pumasok ka. And to think that you have placed my countrymen, 4 million slaves. Nawala na ngayon slaves sa Amerika. Tayo na kung alipin sa droga. Alipin mo dahil sa droga. Mr. Yan Pres, ang masakit sa akin. Just, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Um, hmm. Kasi sinesenyo sa nakalimang minuto na lang daw po. Paniwala ko niya. Pwede. Hindi kasi marami pa hong naghihintay. Pwede. Okay, you can broadcast that, that, that. I mean, you can have it uh, a part of that uh, some other time. Okay. Mr. Diba? President, are you, would you consider giving Vice President Lenny Robredo another post in your cabinet? Alam mo kasi, ma'am, ganito yan. Noon, nagmagandang loob lang rin ako kasi may, may busy presidente na walang trabaho. I mean, it ain't right na may, may dito, sinisilduhan mo lang, parang useless naman tao. So I went out to my way, really. Uh, no need to announce. Ma'am, sabi ko, baka... Yeah, gusto. I remember that, ah. Mr. President. Ang problema nito, pag mag-demonstrate sila, nandyan yung oust-oust, alam mo yung demonstrators dyan, ang left would never demand. Maybe at some other time. Puro yung left na yan, maski saan ka magpunta, Duterte talaga yan. Maski saan ka, and they would not ever, ever demand for my... Ang yelo, ang owl. Sabi ko lahat ko naman, that's my campaign promise. No corruption, ilibing ko si Marcos. Asis na yan eh. By the time that he was placed there, asis na si Marco Rolano. Kadong katagal, asis na. So, ano sabi ko? Because ako, Bugado, he was a president. Nobody would ever say that he was not a soldier. Whether he fought courageously, furiously, that's never a problem. I was not there. Nakalista ka doon, kung matapang ka talaga ng dalo, that's for the record of history. Kung ikaw naman yung nagsisipte lang sa isang kanto, that's about too late in the date of inquiring into it. And you will not get a good result, by the way. So that. So would you still reconsider giving her again a cabinet post o hindi na po? Ang problema kasi niyan, hindi man matapos yan kasi ano mo na, Sao loser naman itong... Hindi may marunong magtanggap ng talo. Tapos sige, nandyan siya. Ibig kong sabihin. What's about to... Nandyan kasi siya. Tapos pagkabukas, magharap kami. Don't you think it's a very incongruous thing? Not really for anything. It's just incongruity. Nandoon ka, tapos you are a part of the crowd. You may not really be asking for it. But you are part of the crowd which says that that they want me out. Ako naman alam ko na hindi mo ako ma out. I mean, I mean, I usually give it as a potato sa Americano. Kasi magulo talaga to. I would give you a bloody nose, my God. So the answer is no. Would that be a no? You wouldn't. Ah, you want it? So at this time, I am not considering. Um, I read. I need to run this by you, sir. Um, plans for Senator Alan Cayetano. Will you still uh, give him I, the PFA post? I said uh, yes. I would be returning to the United States to fulfill his obligations. He's uh, yes. He's on contract as a, uh, as a professor. So Western side, so uh, Patiho, Hawaii, professor in international law, mm -hmm. international trade. So he's. So to not use up normal ako because he's my, he was my roommate during the law school now. So, sinabi ko na, ano, probaho ka muna sandali. But, uh, Alan uh, Kaitano would be coming in uh, to take so, over his post. So. Okay. How about this, uh, former Senator Bongbong Marcos? Will you give him a cabinet post? Uh, ang gusto niya kasi that, that in on uh, as a DOT, but, you know, I, I cannot wait for him. I, I have to move. 
I have to start, I said, they said that you have to hit the ground running. So, ala ka lang naman kung wala akong tao. So, meron ka bang naiisip na cabinet post for the former senator? BBS? Wala pa siya ngayon. I do, I do not want to make promises. I will not even uh, say uh, an assumption for the public uh, until I have the wherewithal in my hands. Okay. At towards the tail end, we need to ask you about your health. Kamusta na pong migraine nyo? Yung likod nyo po? Are, uh, are you still may attack? How old is your grandfather? Wala na po eh. But how old is your father? Seventy... Three, seventy-four. Wala siyang sakit? Mm, vertigo. And what else? Yun lang po. Yun lang? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lahat kami may vertigo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have vertigo too, sir. Yeah. Kung ano yung sakit ng lulong mo when he was 72 years old, yun ang sakit ko. Pero baka ano naman kung ano si Duterte dying, gano'n. <laughs> Lahat naman tayo mamamatay. Lahat naman tayo at 72 may sakit. Ang, ang tatay ko, 56 lang nga, may sakit na eh. I outlived my father, he was 56 when he died. And he had a lot of uh, medications to take hey, every day. Hey, ikaw, kasi, kay, kayo ho nagsabi that you, um, you have bad migraines and you said that you take... Because fentanyl. of my spinal. Yes, yes. Ayan, ayan, parents, I, have, I can even show you. Oh. Ito kasi sumimplang ako sa mito. Is that your fall metaro. from your fall? That was about just three years ago. Okay. Uh, no, the fault of the lady, guanon bigla eh. Sinerhan niya yung ano, but so I had to... Tapos, nagkaroon na yung C4, C7. Ang asawa ko kasi, nakikinig dyan sa mga doktor. Lahat ng doktor na sabi, ah, tiis na lang yung matanda na yan siya. Pag magkamali pa yung puto, gaganoon yung bukas. Ayaw eh, kasi nurse man rin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because sabi niya, may marami siyang nakita sa, when she was working in the United States. As operations that went awry. Uh, not expected. Yung gulay na. Yeah. So, hindi na bali. Kaya ako sabi ko nagkagano. I was very frank with you. Sabi ko ginagano ko yan. Eh. I'm posing. Yeah. Kaya ako nagkagano. No? But actually, my thumb is moving. Uh, it was pressing Ito some po. nerves. Uh. Okay. But it, it, it gives me a relief. And if uh, okay, I'll, I'll give you a more, more of this visual. In a uh, pain scale, I have about two, three every day. No, nagpifentanil ako yung bago ako na describe. Yeah. Uh, yung pang, talagang pang patay. I used to have about five, six during attack. Pero ngayon, uh, tapos nahuli ako ng doktor na yung isang ano talaga strip nilagay mo. You were mo. supposed to take one-fourth pero one ginagamit niyo po isang buo. Kasi maganda ang pili mo. Wala talaga eh. Parang hindi ka na disgrace eh. Tapos nahuli ako, nagalit. Sabi niya, stop it or else uh, you go find another doctor. So did you stop it? Wala na. Wala, wala na. na. Wala, wala na talaga. Ano, eh. Wala na because uh, sabi niya, may isang pa akong doktor babae sabi niya, if you learn to live with your pain and just uh, get you know, accustomed to it, your threshold mo sa tataas. To, to, tataas. Okay. Mr. President, New Year's resolution. Um, Is there one? I will just, I, I just want, want my country peaceful and developing. Not develop, that's all. Wala na akong ambisyon sa buhay ko. Wala na. Ano po ang vision? Nandito na ako. Wala nga tao. Kaya pala, alam ko na ngayon kung bakit yung isang number is traded when you are one. Because even, pag uwi, mag-isa lang. Mag-isa ka. Mm -hmm. Just on a light note, I read something, sir, na medyo nahihirapan kayo dun sa ginagamit ninyong tugboat. Ayan. Um, yun, yung sabi nyo, Ay, medyo nabibingi ka na dito sa tugboat na Hindi to. lang. Pag naka... Pag nasa lubog niyang water lily, ayaw ang gumulaw. <laughs> Marami water lily dito. See, it has anyone, is anyone going to help you out? Sabi mo, nahiya ko kayo humingi ng pera sa Kongreso para palitan man lang yung tugboat ng Presidente. Uh, ano ho? Okay pa naman. Okay lang. Ay, ay ako. Paski dito noon, makita ko yung ilaw na bright as a day, tapos wala ng tao, sabi ko. Aba, sinusurte kayo dito. Totoo pati yung bahay ko noon. Yung aircon pagkagabi na, sabi ko, once it, the, 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 the night settles and gets to be a little bit 
school. You shut down everything. So, pagpasok ko dyan, ano lang, ano, totoo lang, lights at the presidente. Pati swimming pool, wala naman ako nagkikita. Sana, kung may mga kaibigan ka, puntahin mo dito, kayo manood ako mag, ano sila. <laughs> Nagka-lights on, sabi ko, sirahan mo lahat dyan. And even the Christmas trees doon, maganda, sabi ko, next, next year. No Christmas tree there. Ang ano ganda eh. Ano naman noon? Eh, wala nga nanonood eh, wala nga nalibata. Mayroon, sana kung may... Kasama ka na, nakaholding ka ka, ang ganda, no? <laughs> Wala nga bata. Sabi ko, build it uh, or make it somewhere else. Okay, Mr. President, I know that the other media outfits are waiting. So, um, thank you so much. Meron lang po kaming aabot sa inyo. Um, I'm, baka ho, well, I'm sure hindi nyo po alam that we had um, this episode po sa CNN Philippines. Okay. Liham kay Digong. So, nagsulat po sila ng mga, well, kanilang gustong iparating sa inyo. Pap, hmm. Bibigay ko na lang po ito sa inyong assistant um, galing po sa Bali, inyong... Bali, before I forget, makakaisingit uh, mo lang ito. Mas mauna ito, Mia. Kasi nag-release ako what, one week ago. One billion. For those uh, having rehabilitation na uh, community-based muna. Kulang ako ng kulang ako ng pera magpatayo muna. So, dyan, uh, maybe uh, under the supervision of the rural health or something, But I have one billion for you for medicines. So, yung mga sedative while you are recovering, kung pwede pa. And I also released another one billion for yung mga tao ngayon na hawak-hawak na reseta ng doktor na wala kayong pambili. And next year, diretso na kayo sa hospital. And uh, they will just bill me uh, Money put to good use. Pagka wala lang corruption. Sabi ko itong sa uh, the, the, the typhoon victims, as long as there is no corruption and the money is really in the, is spent the way it was supposed to be budgeted, help will come. I've released something like um, for 50 million worth of seedling. Then another uh, one billion to help you out. Walang problema sa akin. No corruption, we will survive and we will have a good government. Mr. President, we'd like to thank you for this opportunity. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo and we wish you luck. Thank you for your time. Thank you and thank you for joining us uh, on CNN Philippines. This is a special presentation, our one-on-one -on -one with President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Sir, thank you.